Hi everybody and welcome back to Harry's Music Room. This is going to be a flip video of a bunch of records I picked up in the last week. So starting with uh, Johnny Cash, uh, the first record he brought out on uh, American Records. This is an original pressing. I think I paid 15 for that. There's a new store in Tacoma called Janku Land and uh, found quite a few good records there. Next up, we have the Yardbirds Little Games. This is an import. Um, this is UK, I believe. If I can get the glare off of it so you can see some song titles there. Then we have Alive West Montgomery. Willow Weep for Me. Really like this one. I'm a West Montgomery fan. Live recording that they later added strings to. Dave Alvin Interchords. Um, there's like six different songs on here. And then uh, Dave talks about each record. Um, little interview with him and then they play the song. And I do believe it's just the studio versions of the songs. Uh, just lost Chris Christopherson, one of my favorite country artists. Got to see him a few times, got to meet him. Uh, but this was a quad pressing that I picked up yesterday for, for $2. And then we have Robert Earl Keane, live double album. If you don't know Robert Earl Keen, country, alt-country artist, uh, Canadian, I believe. But uh, I've seen him a few times in concert. He's written some great songs. Original 1996 pressing of New Adventures in Hi-Fi, which I did not own. So I was glad to get that. I think I paid $15 for it. I was kind of shocked. I looked on Discogs. It's like a $100, $150 record. Is that correct? Here's one that, uh, one of my favorite live songs is 157 Riverside Avenue, which is on here. And I was surprised to see that I did not have this record already when I, I was going to buy it and give it to uh, my friend John, but then I saw that I didn't have it, so his loss is my gain. Then I picked up a reissue uh 70s reissue with the tan label which i didn't have i've probably got five or six different hard days night but i did not have that particular label this is a white label promo um i like all the blood sweat and tears stuff even after david clayton thomas left and then this is a promo 12 inch single of nuclear blues these I picked up at Gold Noties in Seattle. Got a nice quad pressing. I think this is Chicago 6, if I'm not mistaken. And I think this was the first record that used their picture on the cover. And then I picked this up. Um, this has the iron-on transfer for the t-shirt. And it also has this cool hype sticker. Big Chicago fan. And then uh, we got a 12 inch promo. Um, the A side is an exclusive remix of Two Hearts Beat as One. Then we have a 12 inch uh, UK of uh, New Year's Day. And then I picked up a bootleg. These uh, were from Daybreak Records. Uh, Jefferson Airplane. It's got the insert on the back. And this is a red vinyl pressing on trademark quality. This is a reissue from the 70s um, with the unedited finger there by Don Stevenson. 
this originally did not come with a poster in the reissue, but it's a super clean pressing. And then another bootleg. Um, this is not on Discogs. There's a few of these on Discogs, but none of them have the stoned again sticker on the front. This is kind of a strange gatefold that opens up, but there's nothing on the inside. Um, and it's just orange label. Uh, it says uh, the Rockers. It doesn't even say the Rolling Stones. Chicken Shack reissue with Christine McVie. I didn't have any of this stuff, so it was nice to find this one. Again, this was at Daybreak Records. Nice compilation, Best of Dave Edmonds, which is enough for me. Got a nice Beatles 12-inch picture disc um, with the hype sticker, uh, which is kind of interesting because that's the first time I've seen this with a hype sticker on it. And then my favorite Willie Nelson album is Redheaded Stranger. This is a live version done at Austin City Limits. Uh, it was a record store day issue. This is one I picked up from Janku Records. And I had, uh, I got a VCLT. Someone sent me an original uh, Redheaded Stranger. And then I happened to find this one near mint condition. It's a Canadian press and it was $5. So I picked that up to add it to my collection. This is a uh, Los Angeles Nuggets, where the action is, with a bunch of L.A. bands. Love, Leaves, Buffalo Springfield, Iron Butterfly, West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band, Bobby Fuller 4, Sonny and Sure, uh, The Guillotines, The Association, Doors, Electric Prunes, and so on and so on and so on. Two albums that have not listened to that yet. Picked up a real nice Zombies Greatest Hits Japanese pressing with an Obi. And it's got a lot of the early stuff on it. And then, of course, my Holy Grail. First time I've ever seen this record in the wild. This is a double album from VJ, Beatles vs. The Four Seasons. Both records are in just beautiful condition. There's a little bit of a seam split up here on the front, which I think I can repair. But the nice thing about this is it came with the super rare poster, original poster with it. I'm not gonna say what I paid for this because my wife might be watching. <laughs> but that is a grail, absolutely a grail for me. And then this is a... Uh, European press in UK made for export. Uh, they misprinted paperback writer as paper back writer, three words. So that's my uh, pickups for the last you know, week or so. Thanks for watching. I uh, would love to see your comments if you have any on any of these records. And until next time, ciao.